Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say yo to me. Thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, hello, hi. My name is Amomo Ahi and I hope you love it here and that you join this family by clicking the red subscribe button. So yeah, guys, today... It's not like um, my usual videos. Yeah, it's not like my usual videos. I just wanted to chat to you guys about um, something that I've been experiencing lately. And yeah, I just like share my thoughts on it and stuff. But yeah, anyway, so... Let me bless you guys with my beautiful intro before we get into the video. <laughs> anyway, so guys, so when was it? So, okay, anyway, so I'm currently in Joburg. Um currently at home for a while right so i had my gynae appointment on wednesday i think yeah i had my gynae appointment on wednesday fine went sharp and guys like i always wait for so long when i go there like i'm so used now to the fact that you know what you might make an appointment say for 12 30 you're probably only gonna leave that place at like half past two or three o'clock like i don't know why this guy is so busy but yet again he's so good and i really like him and the midwife is also amazing so i don't know guys i'm shaking a lot because like yeah i'm holding my phone like i forgot well i didn't forget it i left my ring light and i'm only gonna get a new one for like here in like i don't know a week or so i don't know I don't know. I've, I don't know why I'm contemplating getting it. Anyway, guys, that's besides the point. So I went to the doctor. Fine. So the doctor and everything, all is good. Sharp, sharp. Fine. And then he says to me, I'll see you in this many weeks. Which is different to how often I've been seeing him now, right? So I'm like, how? What happened to seeing you? After this long, she's like, girl. Eh, do you not notice just how close you are? I'm like, uh, okay. Then she's like, sorry. And then he's like, I'll see you after this many weeks. And then after this many weeks, I'll see you after this many weeks. And then after this many weeks, I'll, I'll see you after this many weeks. Basically, the weeks are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Guys, I won't lie. I think... My anxiety proper like kicked in like one hundred percent. I was just like, "Are you actually serious right now?" Like that close in my head. I'm thinking, "Yo, God, I don't think I I don't I don't think I'm ready." Like so much anxiety came. I'm actually even getting emotional. But anyway, I'm not gonna cry. So much anxiety kicked in it at that point, like so much fear. Yo, like being right, I was not okay. And all I kept thinking was, oh my God, um, this is so much pressure, so much pressure to give my daughter the best life ever. So much pressure to just like um Sorry, guys. You know, like, I literally just want the best for her. That's the thing. Like, I legit just want the best for her. And, like, right now, I'm just like, yo, I don't know. Hey, like, I don't know. Am I, am I, am I going to do the best? Am I doing the best I possibly can? Am I, you know, I mean, like, I worry about the simplest things. Like, when I worry... Like, I don't know how many times I've waited to go see a sonographer. Like, I swear, guys, if I don't feel her move at a time that she usually moves, I freak out. If, like, you know, 
In the middle of the night, I wake up because sometimes I don't know why I think I'm sleeping on my stomach, even though I know I'm not. I wake up and then I poke her like to make sure that she's still okay and be like, I worry about her a lot and I worry about whether I'm going to be a good mom to her or not. Like, whether she's going to have everything she possibly needs. And thing is, I know I'm working on that for her. I know I'm doing my absolute best for her to do that. Like, yo, so many things about me don't matter anymore. Like, and rightfully so, because shame, poor child did not choose to come into this earth, right? So, so many things about me don't, it's not even, yeah, it's not even about me anymore. Like, so many things don't matter anymore. Like, it doesn't matter to a point whereby, even with my mom, like, with my friends, everyone, when they say, oh, I'm a one, two, three, I just look at them and I'm like, you know, I say no, guys. Like, I say no. People ask for things. I say no. Like, my best word right now that comes out of my mouth is no. Like, no. Ask for money, no. Ask for this, no. Like, everything is just no. Because I'm just like, everything I do is literally for her now. Like, literally. But yeah, I've got so much anxiety because yeah, everything is like happening so fast now. Um, and I'm questioning if I'm ready, if I'm not ready. I'm I'm questioning a lot of things. I'm really questioning a lot of things. Um and it's 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 not because I don't have faith in myself. I do have a lot of faith in myself. I do because I when something really matters to me, I'll give it my all. Like, I will give it my all and I will only let go if it proves, if the fight proves to not be worth it. Like, legit, in everything in my life, in everything that I do. And I know with her, it's different. This is like, this is for life, right? And everything with her is always going to matter. Like, everything. Right? It just sucks that right now I have to make the decisions for her, obviously. Um, as to what matters in her life, what doesn't matter, and how I handle certain situations that have to do with her. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm mumbling a lot right now, but I hope you guys can get me. Sorry, I keep doing that a lot. Like, I don't know. When I'm, when I'm anxious, I do weird stuff, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, I think, I think it's good that I'm only talking about it now. Because, yo, after my appointment, like, almost every day after that, I was just like, right. <laughs> but now I'm like, you know, slowly calming down. Um, if there's one thing I'm very appreciative of is the fact that my relationship with God has gotten, like, yo, so much better and stronger because of this pregnancy like so much stronger and better and i'm a person like that grew up in a multi-religious family um and also quite traditional so like i'm like listen god ancestors everybody has got my back so i honestly should just have a little bit more faith and just yeah do best for my little girl <laughs> yeah so anyway i don't know so that's all i wanted to say guys um just share a bit of me that if it happens for whatever reason that i take a break from youtube just know that i'm i'm dealing with my own stuff internally dealing with my own things j to just get things right for baby d but God answers prayers. I'm not gonna lie. And he's answered so many already. And I'm just like <laughs> He's answered so many. So I think that just makes me calm. But yeah, guys. I can't even say hope you guys enjoyed this video, but um I hope do I do hope, however, that you guys are good, that you guys are okay. Um, if you are a person that suffers from anxiety, I'm personally not a person that suffers from anxiety. That's why all of this is just like 
overwhelming for me. Like, what? What is this type of thing, right? Um, but I'm glad that I'm dealing with it when I'm home. Glad. Um, yeah, but do let me know, guys. Like, how do you deal with your anxiety? How do you handle it? What do you do to calm yourself down, to think straight, and to just do the right thing, you know? What do you do? Yeah, comment down below and let me know. Let's have a conversation. Let's chat. Otherwise, that's it for me. Um, oh, sorry. I'll see you guys in my next video, which is still going to be today because this was not part of the plan, guys. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening today, but I woke up feeling a bit overwhelmed. So I just figured, let me share this with you guys. But yeah, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.